Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we will see how to install a CO2 system in a planter tank successfully and what are the parts required for this and how to check your tank CO2 level. So guys, uh, let's start and don't miss it. Okay, I am using a 3 kg cylinder, like 2 to 3 kg is good enough for most of the setup and uh, this will last around 8 to 10 months for my 1.5 feet tank and how long it lasts, it, it all depends upon your tank size and uh, you can refill afterwards, it's not very expensive, you can get a refill for uh, 500 to 800 rupees. And other parts require are uh, CO2 regulator, CO2 tubing, check wall, bubble counter and uh, CO2 diffuser. And uh, I am going to use a Teflon tap on this like uh, this is to prevent any gas leakage and to make the regulator tight on it. Uh, what you want to do is just need to wrap it for two to three times properly and uh, that's enough okay then uh, dual gauge regulator the cylinder will around like a thousand psi pressure so what you have to you have to reduce the pressure to 30 to 40 psi before injecting the tank that is why we are using this and this will show you the output and input pressure and uh, with the particular regulator you don't uh, need to adjust the output pressure in it already adjusted in that you just need to adjust the need valve to control co2 and uh, this side we are going to connect the cylinder and i'm going to remove the solenoid so that i will not damage it while tightening it with the pipe wrench slowly you need to remove it Like uh, there will be a gasket inside, you don't need to uh, tie too much so that it will not damage. Slowly I am connecting the regulator. And I am connecting back solenoid. And uh, my regulator come along with the CO2 bubble counter uh, but I am not using it because my CO2 diffuser is a 2-in-1 diffuser which has a bubble counter in it otherwise you can connect on this itself and the tubing I am going to take connect with the regulator and then connecting the tube uh, other end with the check valve uh, you need to check which side is in and out because you just need to blow uh, blow the air to find out like uh, output uh, should go to the aquarium side. Here using check valve is to prevent any water coming back to cylinder from aquarium. Okay and then uh, other end I am connecting with the CO2 diffuser. Okay, connect with the diffuser and then I am going to fill some amount of water in the diffuser uh, since it has a bubble counter in it and you just need to fill 80% of space. And I close it. Okay, now we are going to uh, like slowly fix it in the aquarium wall. Like already suction cup is uh, given with the diffuser itself.
ஓகே தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் இஸ் வி நீட் டு டேர்ன் ஆன் த சிஓ டூ சிலிண்டர் லைக் பிஃபோர் தேட் க்ளோஸ் த நீடில் வேல் கம்ப்ளீட்லி பிஃபோர் ஓப்பனிங் த சிலிண்டர் நாட் அண்ட் யூ நீட் டு கனெக்ட் த சாலினாட் வித் எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி அண்ட் டேர்ன் இட் ஆன் and what happen means not all the regulator have solenoid so if you uh, if you want to buy one with the solenoid it's very easy to operate you don't need to turn on the co2 cylinder knob every time and you can automate uh, co2 system with a timer also and now rotate the needle valve very slowly and see how many bubbles are coming out in the bubble counter actually i am setting uh, one bubble per second for my nano tank uh, you can set like 2 to 3 bubbles per second depend upon your uh, tank sizes and all okay after 10 to 15 minutes co2 will come out and uh, you want to keep it in your mind that uh, co2 should on one hour before the light turns on and uh, one hour before the light goes off uh, for uh, getting a proper photosynthesis okay uh, some people turn it on uh, uh, at the same time when the light comes uh, that is okay not a issue okay now we finish the co2 system installation and uh, we need to make sure that our uh, co2 level is very accurate like it should not go very high and it should not go very low as well and for that to maintain a proper co2 level we are using this um, the one so to drop checker and this one is so the pH solution and i show you how to do it just add quarter portion of pH solution into this and uh, you can see that uh, now it's in the blue color uh, like we need to uh, wait for uh, at least 1 hour uh, once you put uh, once you put it in the aquarium color will change like uh, Uh, if it's remain blue that means low level of co2 in the tank and if it is in the green that means you have very well co2 level in the tank if it is yellow or orange it means you uh, over in- injecting the co2 so you need to reduce the co2 level Okay, as you see it turned to green and uh, the maintenance is relatively easy like after few weeks you will see that the co2 bubbles are getting bigger uh, because the algae is forming on the diffuser so that so that the time you need to clean it just take out the uh, ceramic disc from the diffuser and dip it in a bleach water or else uh, you can put it in a fabric wiper uh, white l- liquid also and you need to keep it for 1 hour once it become very white and you can turn it out and uh, put it in the fresh water for one day uh, then put back in the aquarium okay like uh, total cost of the setup is around uh, 10000 to 15000 uh, for a medium range system uh, like for cylinder around 4000 and the regulator it's like uh, 6000 and for diffuser uh, you can get it for 600 to 700 uh, rupees and all uh, okay but only initial setup cost is high and afterwards uh, uh, like after was co2 uh, refilling is very cheap i told you earlier like around like uh, 600 to 800 range only to look and actually uh, co2 system is actually a very good uh, investment in this hobby you can uh, grow any aquatic plants uh, if you have co2 system and good light and all like the plants will be more healthy and the algae issues will be very less and uh, a kind of pearling effect and uh, uh like uh, all you will get only with the co2 system only 
so so guys uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, please subscribe and support my channel and my more videos are coming soon bye